So it's Wednesday, September 8th. Uh, this is Cody Mays and Cody's vacationing in Newport. He said he's been perch fishing about five times, has got one. Uh, so we're trying to help him out getting another one here. So we're at Wade Creek. We're on the south side. Uh, Energy is about 350 today. Swell height is about four, four and a half. Um, fishing conditions are awesome and catching conditions look pretty good as well because uh, there's some pretty big waves here. So energy is about 350, let's see. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Temperature is about uh, mid 50s. There's hardly any wind. Oh, and it's about hour and a half to high tide. Uh, high tide is about two o'clock and it's about a seven foot high tide. So uh, again, this is prime catching condition. So let's see how it goes. Going for my first cast. Here, but it's just a little shallow, but it still looks like it's pretty good catching conditions. Uh, this is still my first cast, so I was just watching the waves. <laughs> okay, so we're still working the south. I think we've been here about 15 minutes now. Uh, I've got in like four casts, but uh, it's really shallow here, even though the waves are pretty decent action here. It's a really shallow plane, so you gotta wait for a bunch of waves to break and then it kind of floods the plane. But probably another 10 minutes. Couple more casts. If I don't get something, I'm gonna go ahead and back to my favorite spot in the north. But uh, Dan Kaplan told me him and Buddy Stabler and Dow Seichow did really good down here in the south, so that was the reason I came down. So it must be a pretty high tide today because it's not even high tide yet and you know, the beach is getting cut off. Anyway, so we're gonna head to the north. Spent here about 20 minutes, I'm guessing about five or six casts, but it just looks way too shallow to me, so I wanna go back to my favorite spot. Uh, wave action actually here looks really good. Uh, it's a little bit deeper, but not as deep as I would like. But it seems like uh, with the tide changing and coming in right now, oh yeah, this is deeper. But with the tide changing and water coming in, uh, the deeper water is getting closer and closer as every minute goes by. Uh, let's try it. First cast on the north. Well, wave action on the north actually looks better than the south. It's still pretty shallow, uh, but the waves, big waves are really close here. So, just short of the trees. Generally, I've done well from around here to the trees. So, second cast on the north. See how it goes. So, even though it's really foggy here, uh, it looks cool. Uh, but man, I'm getting overheated, so I just go off and take a break, take my hoodie off. So, this will be my third cast on the north. Hey, Cody, what kind of weight do you usually use? What ounce? Uh, about three. Okay. Want to try the Santiam rod? So this is a custom rod for uh, Oregon club members. So it's got our special club oh. logo on it, but uh, they're normally 169, and the guy who makes them is selling them for one for 139. Uh, but he designed he designed these specially for our club. But here, try cast with this one. He's rod. He's trying the uh, Santium rod, but this is a catfish rod and. Oh, well, there it is. It's uh, eight foot, 15 to 30 pound, rated up for three ounce. So he usually normally, normally uses a three ounce. He's using a spider, and he's got it paired with an optic. I uh, don't know what size it is. I'm guessing it's about a 3,000 or 4,000. All right, I'm gonna take a cast with it. It's a lot shorter rod, but what happened was he broke his Akuma Rockaway. Um, bring it in today with a crab hawk. So unfortunately, he had to go back to his backup rod. So it's not bad, it's just way short at eight feet. So see what he thinks about the same thing when he's done. But he's gonna take off now because uh, he's gotta go pick up the subscription. So we've been here about an hour. I'm guessing I got in about 10 casts. I'm thinking he did the same thing. Uh, zero action. We tried on the south for about 20 minutes and about five casts. And we've been here probably about another 30 minutes on the north now. You know, maybe 40. Uh, so we've been here about, yeah, almost, yeah, about an hour, I guess. Got in about 10 casts. Spent some of the time walking around, going from uh, south to north. All right, so I'm gonna keep fishing for a while, but Cody's gonna be taking off here pretty quick. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to help him at all. I did a second perch, which is a bummer. I was really looking forward to helping him. Oh well, that's what they call it fishing, I guess. 
So I'm going to switch rods back and then keep trying for about another hour. It's still not high tide yet. It's getting really close, but it's still not high tide yet. That cap's really good. Can you, can you tell the difference? Oh, yeah. Well, plus sure it's your eight foot too, but if you had your rock away, is this, you had a 12 foot rock away? Yeah. And how, do you, how does it compare to the 12 foot? It's pretty comparable. Yeah. I think it's a little bit better. Okay, it's a 10, this is a 10 footer. But um, he also sells an 11 footer. Did you get a bite? It felt like it. You did. You got a bite because the worm's gone. Yeah, it felt like there was one on there, but... Oh, man, that's a bummer. That's good. No, for when the worm is like that, it's definitely a bite. That's why I was asking you, because you didn't even tell me anything, right? But... I thought maybe the weight was down in the tank. Oh, dude, you got two bites. Does she have a second worm oh, gone, yeah. too? Take another cap. You never know, man. <laughs> so that's interesting. He was just trying my Santium rod. And then two of the worms are bitten in half. And he said he thought he got a bite, but because he was trying my rod and wasn't used to it, I don't think he knew that. All right, I'm gonna rebate. That's an encouraging sign though. So he liked the way it cast. Um, I think most people have said that whenever they use the Santium rod. Uh, there's only one guy I know who didn't like it very well, and that was Matthew Hun. And that's because he wanted a much stiffer rod. All right, I'm gonna rebate and get out there. All right, so Cody's taking off. Uh, it looked like to me he got a bite when he tried the Santium rod because the worm came in half eaten. So I'm pretty sure he got a bite and just didn't realize it. Um, so I'm gonna stick around here for a few more casts, but if I get nothing, I'm gonna start moving my way from north back to south. And you know, hopefully the south looks better now that the tide is higher. But there's a very flat part of the beach. And this part that I'm standing on is actually pretty steep and sloped and then it shallows out so what i'm thinking is if the uh, water is about another oh got a bite nope oh, got one wow i gotta keep doing that every time i talk about the uh topography or beach i get a fish but uh it's very steep there so i'm thinking at another foot of high tide uh there's gonna be pretty nice fishing here but that's amazing this one actually feels pretty decent too yeah, that's tugging really well. Wow, this one's a decent one. Yeah. Oh, yep, it's a red tail. I thought it was a flounder at first because I was dragging it in sideways. But yeah, this is a nice one. Oh, let's bring it up higher. Bottom hook. First fish for today, man. North. Took a long time though. But yeah, this one's a decent sized one. I can always tell because when it fills my hand, I can tell it's a pretty decent sized one. Man, too bad. This is like two casts after Corey just left, so bummer. Um, let's see, about, so you can see my ruler, 11 and a half. 11 and a half to the tip. All right. But man, that was a decent fight. Yes. That was worth coming out. About an hour and 10 minutes. Now I'm guessing it's getting pretty close to high tide. There it goes. Can you see it? Off into the surf. All right. Funny because uh, I was getting desperate. I wasn't getting any bites as I was talking. And I uh, dug up this mole crab and it's actually got the eggs in it. But I'm going to go ahead and let it go since I just got a fish on, uh, on gulf worms. No use in killing wildlife unless you really have to, I guess. <laughs> it says I'm not keeping it anyway. It's just no use in sacrificing a mole crab. All right, I gotta get it back out before my line's tangled. So this is the very next cast. It took me about five minutes to untangle my rig. So uh, I had five minutes of dead time, but second cast, or first cast right after my fish. I did get a bite. This one though, I pulled in about halfway. So it looks like to me, they're starting to move in, or at least I'm hoping in the next half an hour, an hour. But uh, decent tug. Safety precaution, the reason I was noticing the slope contour of the beach is because when it was lower tide and I was down there, I was actually getting a huge back sweep of water, which almost took me down and I was trying to understand why. And I realized as the water comes up and it rushes back down because it's so steep, it picks up quite a bit of speed. So again, as you're 
Waiting in the ocean, you know, don't always just look in the front. Always look in the back, too, to make sure the backwash isn't going to get you. Now, I guess I've been here about an hour and a half to hour 45. And I'm guessing about 15 to 17 casts. And, and other than the last two casts, uh, this is the second cast after my fish. But other than the last two casts, I haven't had any action. So it's really slow today. But at least I got uh, two bites in a row with one fish. But there's a big drift now, whoa. But there's a big drift now from left to right that just started. All right, that's the report for now. I'm gonna start fishing my way back to the parking lot. I think I'm gonna call it a day. But by the time I get back there, it'll be about two hours. All right, that's it for right now. Well, I'm not sure who they are, but I'm leaving. But I'm gonna go introduce myself and see if they want some weights and worms with their members. Okay, so let's do a summary. Uh, about 25 casts. Five of them were on the way back to the parking lot though, so not sure those count. But only had action after an hour and 30 to 45 minutes. Got a fish as I was talking. Got one bite after that. And you know maybe if I'd stuck around and hit it harder, I could have got more action, but uh, I think I had enough for today. Two hours, 25 casts, uh, two casts with action. Uh, one fish, one bite. Uh, fish was an 11 and a half incher, but it fought really well. So that's it for today from Wade. Man, awesome fishing conditions. It's got to be at least 60 degrees. Uh, fishing in a t-shirt, even though it's really foggy and the air is moist and no wind. Uh, catching conditions are actually pretty decent with the waves pretty close by. Uh, it just turned out that the water was really shallow until I got up north. All right, so that's it for today. Let's go see who this is. Let's see who these guys are. Oh, man. Man, I'm old. I'm so tired. <laughs> I've only been fishing for two hours. Howdy, how you doing? All right. What's your name? Kevin. Kevin, I'm Jay. Hey. Are you belong to the Oregon Perch Club? No, I just heard about it. Uh, are you the guy on Facebook? Yeah, I'm the guy on Facebook. Okay. Um, are you uh, are you an Oregon uh, resident yeah, though? I live in Oregon City. Okay, look uh, in my bag. You see the flap with a label? Open it up. Yeah. Draw further, some weights and some worms. Watch out, wave. Whoa. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you're gonna have one pack of worms, okay. and you're gonna take some. You take a couple of weights. I've got plenty of weights. It's up to you. Have you you got claws and spiders? No, I just have uh, bullets. No, try, try. Yeah, what do you normally throw? Three or four? I've been throwing four ounce pyramids. Okay. Uh, try oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Try a claw. Uh, I actually use a spider. Because okay. what you do is then you bend the If it drifts a lot, yeah. uh, then you I bend the one go all the way over there. Yeah. So, um, so I just got one about maybe half an hour ago. Okay. But me and another guy tried this whole stretch. Watch out, watch out. Yeah. You gotta watch you. <laughs> Always watch for that. But, uh, yeah. uh, so we tried it for about an hour and a half, this entire stretch. And then I got a bite way. So you'll see some trees and some houses right between them. Okay. But it's pretty far up there. Okay. Um, yeah, I was at Beverly Beach yesterday and all I caught was six. Oh, dude, you can't, you can't fish there. You can't? No, it's a marine protected area, so you don't need to get caught. <laughs> The ranger told me I could. No, you can't do that. Oh, I, I, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, I surprised I the ranger sure. said the that. The ranger said, yeah. thank God, thank you. I didn't know that. But that would have been a good... Uh, I caught six Dungeness crab, and it's like... Oh, yeah. I was using chicken hearts. Yeah. I didn't know what else to use. Yeah, so. yeah, no, that's good. But, uh, well, maybe you can crab there, but I, I'm pretty sure it's a marine protected area. Yeah, I saw in the Google Earth it said marine protected yeah, area. Yeah, yeah. said that as long as it's six south of the creek you could okay i don't know what i'm doing oh interesting no i think it's a little bit further than that but uh anyway so yeah a surfer told me to come down here so yeah it actually uh some guys killed it on the south about three or four days ago okay i tried it but it wasn't quite high tide but you could try down to the south what i've been what i've been seeing is even though the waves are crashing pretty close yeah it's pretty shallow see how shallow it is yeah. So you got to get out to those big waves out That's there. That's where I'm at. Okay. I'm out there. Oh, yeah, because you got four ounce. Yeah, I got four ounce. Yeah. So I'm getting out there. If I got a salmon steel, though, I need to get a nicer pole, I think. Yeah, you want to try it? Oh, no. I need, I, I've been looking at one. I just, this is my, this second, is a, this is my a, second attempt. At oh, okay. This is a, uh, what are you using for bait? 
Uh, Golf sandworms? I was using. Uh, oh. Whoops. Whoa! <laughs> I was using chicken hearts and uh, gold. Oh, yeah. These are these. These are the ones you. Are those two inches? Yeah. These yeah. are the ones you should be using if you're first fishing. Okay. Don't, yeah, don't use chicken hearts. Oh, don't use chicken hearts? No. Okay. Unless you want to just try it for one hook for the hell of it. But, That's uh, why I said I, I wasn't sure what the hell I was doing. Yeah. Well, you might get caught. You might get dangerous. Watch the wave. Watch the wave. Hey, I just wanted to, Kevin, what's your last name, Kevin? Burkhardt. Burkhardt? Yeah. So if you join the Oregon Cert, are those guys with you too? Uh, they told me about the Oregon Cert. Oh, maybe the, maybe that's Tyler Krennic. Maybe. You know, they're... Yeah, he's, he's got a friend who's fishing for the first time ever, so... Um, yeah, okay, let me go talk to those guys. All right. What, yeah, so Oregon Surf Perch Club. All right. Make sure you answer both questions. Okay. If you don't answer both questions, she won't let you in. All right. Okay, so that was a soon-to-be member who's going to go join. Uh, he is an Oregon resident, so and I'm gonna go talk to this guy. I'm thinking maybe this is Tyler Krennic. I think that's his younger brother because this, this guy doesn't have any waves. Hey, Tyler, you're late. You say you're late. Yeah, I said 12. Uh -oh. How do you know what time it is right now? It's like 2:30. Uh -oh. So I'm just about ready to quit. Um, this is your brother. Yep, Josh. Josh, I am Jay. Josh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, what, what do you time guys? Did you get here? I got here 11 30, 11 45, because I wanted to catch the incoming high tide. Mm -hmm. And I, yeah, I, I think high tide's already passed now. Or I thought you said 12 45, so I was like, oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> not even 11 45. But oh. that's it, all right, man. Uh, so I was. So I, I fished this whole area. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Nothing. Um, oh, actually, go in my backpack where that label is. Uh, open it up. There's some worms in there and weights. Uh, no, no, just uh, you can take two, one for you and your brother, and then you can have like three or four weights. I already got them, How about spiders? I don't have spiders. Take, take one or two spiders. Aren't there? Aren't there a couple in there? Uh, yeah. Only main thing is what's helped me be successful with moves. If you're not. If you're not getting bites, move. Yeah, we've just been working our way. And then uh, cast out as far as you can, wait, reel in and wait, reel in and wait, because sometimes they're far out, sometimes they're middle, sometimes they're close. So you got to find them this way, and you got to find them this way. Cool. I'm so sorry you didn't come sooner, man. I actually have waiters for them. Yeah, I know. Uh, I thought I read 12.45, uh, so... Man, I might have made a typo. I might have made a typo. So I was like, okay, I'm like, ah, oh, nobody's here, so... Yeah, that's because you're young man the high tide was around 2 or 2 15 but if you look at the height it was like uh, about five feet at 11 11 30 so i mean 11 30 to 12 so that's why i wanted to come at five feet and hit six seven and eight uh, so okay. so i'm trying to hit five or six feet and then have it build up as a See, i just look at the time it's like oh it's high tide <laughs> all right so look at what like, the depth because the the there's the a grass. big difference between high tide at three feet or four feet and a high tide at eight feet all right, so you want so not only is the time important, but the depth of the water, and actually the depth of the water is actually even more important because usually the fish will hang out in a certain depth. Yeah, usually I just show up like two hours before, yeah. before uh -huh. uh, the time. It, 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 two it, hours before yeah. and two hours. It also after. depends. I've had some of my best days on low tide. I've had some of my best days at mid tide, but it all depends on the water depth and you know what part of the beach you fish, but. So this is probably, I've probably been here 85 times this year. So I'm, I'm pretty familiar with the beach and where to go. So that's cool. the nice thing about coming to one beach. But I'd head up and you're probably yeah. missing high tide, so you should get going. Yeah, we, uh, I usually go to Sparrow Park Road, so. Oh, I heard that does really well. Yeah, it does pretty good. Like, talk me to go down there. Oh, because uh, you were going to meet. In, he lives in Albany, so oh. I wasn't going to backtrack. <laughs> you guys going back today too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. Just, I might go to Depot Bay, see if any whales are out, try for me rockfish or stripe. Yeah, and jet at the jetty. Yeah. You have uh you got sand shrimp? That's what usually is best for the jetty, sand shrimp. I haven't got any yet, so. Uh because they have some bait shops in Newport though. Yeah, well people do. Alright man. Alright, sorry I missed you, Tyler. That's all good. Next I time. Alright, next time, okay? Yeah. That was Tyler Krennic. 
and uh, I was going to meet him and his little brother. His little brother is in rubber boots that are like calf high. So he's learning the hard way, <laughs> but he's young and he said he didn't mind the cold very much. Um, but unfortunately, we had a miscommunication on time. I was going to try and help him, uh, but I sent him to where I got my fish. So hopefully that'll help him. But I'm beat. That's it for today.